26. Not only those who believe after he came in the meridian of time in the flesh, but all those from the beginning, even as many as were before he came, who believed in the words of the holy prophet. who spake as they were inspired by the gift of the Holy Ghost, who truly testified of him in all things, should have eternal life. Twenty-seven. And... Twenty-seven. As well as those who should come after who should believe in the gifts and callings of God by the Holy Ghost, which beareth record of the Father and of the Son, twenty-eight. Hang on. Uh. which Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are one God, three in one snake oil, infinite and eternal. You said it earlier. Yeah, he's a infinite and eternal. Without end. Amen. So he's infinite, he's eternal, and he has no end. 29. And we know that all men must repent and believe on the name of Jesus Christ and worship the Father in his name and endure in faith on his name to the end, or they cannot be saved in the kingdom of God. 30. And we know that justification through the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is just and true. 31. And we know also that sanctification through the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is just and true. And uh, uh, to all those who love and serve God with all their mights, minds, and strength. Or they have the mind of a might or a gnat might of a mind. Thirty-two. But there is a possibility that man may fall from grace and depart from the living God. Thirty-three. Therefore let the church take heed and pray always lest they fall into temptation. 35. And we know that these things are true. And according to the revelations of John, oh, the crazy guy from Patmos <laughs> who ripped off the book of Daniel and Ezekiel and a few others. I guess. I forget. It's been a while. I need to read my Bible again. God damn it. Uh, neither adding to nor diminishing from the prophecy of his book, Revelation. That's it. Yeah. The 
Holy Scriptures or the Revelations of God. The Revelations of God. Funny, they didn't capitalize Revelation. Which shall come hereafter by the gift and power of the Holy Ghost. The voice of God or the ministering of angels. One or the other. Someone's always on the line. <laughs> Call now. 36. And the Lord God has spoken it. And honor and power and glory be rendered to his holy name. Now we sound like the goddamn Koran. <laughs> Every time we say your name, we have to fucking say all this formulaic, groveling praise. You're so great shit. Yeah, that's so fucking appealing. Okay. 36. And the Lord God has spoken it. And honor, power, and glory be rendered to his holy name, both now and forever. Amen. 37. In italics. Well, the first part is. And again, by way of commandment to the church concerning the manner of baptism. In italics. We get a little dash in. All those who humble themselves before God and desire to be baptized and come forth with broken hearts and contrite spirits and witness before the church that they have truly repented. You gotta go up there in front of everybody with your tail between your legs. Of all sins and are willing to take upon them the name of Jesus Christ, having a determination to serve him to the end. I wonder if you have to name those sins off. You know, do you have to itemize them? Just wondering. Or if you just say, there were a lot, and I'm sorry. Okay, good. Here's your cracker and a Kool-Aid. And truly manifest by their works. And they ever s their works. Get to work. You're one of us, now start working. That they have received of the Spirit of Christ unto the remission of their sins shall be received by baptism into this, his church. You know, my sister was baptized, and then they excommunicated her. They actually sent it. They had a, a registered legal document. They showed up, and they were snotty, and sign this. We're done with you. I hope you like burning! <laughs> That's got nothing to do with this. This is a little annoyed, though. All right. It shall be... Uh, uh, yeah, 38 starts in italics. The duty of the elders, priests, teachers, deacons, and members of the Church of Christ. My step-granddad is a, a bishop in the Mormon Church. I won't name him. Yeah, I liked him, though, actually. He was all right. Uh, an apostle is an elder, and it is the, his calling to baptize. So we're going to get more apostles than, we, than, I guess. Because there's disciples and there's apostles, you know? I think in Scientology, they call them deadbeats and spectators. more to come on that. There's a little dash in. But a apostle is an elder and it is calling to baptize. 39. And 
to ordain other elders, priests, teachers, and deacons. They can make more. I think someone's knocking on my door. <sighs> well, I don't know what that was about. I went to my door and there was nobody there. So, I thought someone was knocking on my door. It's like 8.33 p.m. I, I turned the music down. I don't know. I had this crazy hypochondriac, religious, Christ, Christian Republican living below me for a while. She was real sensitive, but now i got two dudes and they're like in their 50s or something, or 60s. <laughs> and they're pretty cool. I don't think I'm bothering them. People next to me are loud as hell. So I don't know. I don't know what that was about. A little late for J-dubs and uh, elders to be showing up. All right, where the fuck was I? Yeah, that's right. Forty. And to administer bread and wine, the emblems of the flesh and blood of Christ. Forty-one. It's kind of disgusting when you think about that. We're eating corpse flesh and drinking corpse blood. Ancient corpse blood. Oh. Sounds like something out of an Annie Rice novel. Not that I'm bagging on her. I kind of like her. She's alright. Yeah. I like her. I loved her first book. Blew me away when I first read it. When it first came out, too. 41. And to confirm those who are baptized into the church. That's their duties. <sighs> By the laying on of hands for the baptism of fire and the Holy Ghost <laughs> according to the scriptures. I had elders coming to my door place all the time when my parents weren't around. Working on my sister, working on me. <laughs> Yeah. So I know all about this. Now I just gotta find my place again. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 49. How's that? 49. <laughs> 49. And he is to take the lead of the meetings when there is no elder present. That's the duty of uh, uh, a priest or a teacher or a deacon, I guess. All right. 50. This is important, so pay attention. But when there is an elder present, he is only to preach, teach, expound, exhort, and baptize. 51. <laughs> and visit the house of each member. Oh, yeah. Exhorting them to pray vocally and in secret. We did that. <laughs> and attend to all family duties. Definitely. 52. In all these duties, the priest is to assist the elder if occasion requires. This is starting to sound like LRH. <laughs> Doctor, professor, adventurer, Hubbard. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. 52. In all these duties, the priest is to assist the elder if occasion requires. 
53, the teacher's duty is to watch over the church always. And be with, with and strengthen them. In case their faith is wavering because this shit don't make no fucking sense. And the brainwashing starts to wear off and they need someone to jack them back up again. 54. There we go. And see that there is no iniquity in the church. Neither hardness with each other. Neither lying, backbiting, nor evil speaking. 55. And see that the church meet together often. And also see that all members do their duty. 56. And he is to take the lead of meetings in the absence of the elder or priest. You get that? <laughs> that was important. Hope you got it. Tell me what it was. <laughs> 57. And is to be assisted always in all his duties in the church by the deacons if occasion requires. 58. But neither teacher nor deacons have authority to baptize administer the sacrament or lay on hands. So, hands off. 59. And they are, however, to warn, expound, exhort, and teach, and invite all to come unto Christ. So your job is to be a fucking nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> Every elder, priest, teacher, or deacon is to be ordained according to the gifts and callings of God unto him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's great. <sighs> And he is to be ordained by the power of the Holy Ghost, who is in the one who is in the one who ordains him. Sixty-one. The several elders composing this Church of Christ are to meet. In conference one, in once in three months, or from time to time, as said conference shall direct or appoint. 62. And said conferences are to do whatsoever church business is necessary to be done at the time. 63. The elders are to receive their licenses from their elders. <sighs> By vote of the church to which they belong or from the conferences where they all get together, I guess. I used to go to those Bible conferences. <laughs> Yeah, fun. 64. Each priest, teacher, or deacon who is ordained by a priest may take a certificate from him at the time which certificate when presented to an elder shall entitle him to a license. Is that for crappie or walleye? <laughs> I like a striper tag myself. Which shall authorize him to perform the duties of his calling. 
<laughs> or he may receive it from a conference again. Uh, 65. No person is to be ordained to any office in this church where there is a regularly organized branch of the same we're out the vote of that church. <coughs> 66. Hang on. Uh, uh. But the presiding elders, traveling bishops, high counselors, yeah, traveling bishops, I like them. Spent a lot of time with them. <laughs> high counselors, high priests, and elders may have the privilege or of ordaining where there is no branch of the church that a vote may be called. 67. Every president of the high priesthood, parenthesis, or presiding elder in principles, bishop, high counselor, and high priest is to be ordained by the direction of a high council or general conference. 68, which starts in, in italics. The duty of the members after they are received by baptism in italics. There's a dash, and the elders or priests are to have a sufficient time to expound all things concerning the Church of Christ to their understanding, previous to their partaking of the sacrament and being confirmed by the laying on of the hands of the elders so that all things may be done in order. The proper order, I hope. 69. I'll drink to that. And the members shall manifest before the church and also before the elders by a godly walk and conversation that they are worthy of it that there may be works and faith agreeable to the holy scriptures walking in holiness before the lord 70 every member of the church of Christ having children is to bring them unto the elders before the church who are to lay their hands upon them and damn uncomfortable page break there damn they're sticking together what does that mean <laughs> oh. the name of Jesus Christ oh we're all right Jesus is just all right with me. Like the Doobie Brothers song. And bless them in his name. 71. No one can be received into the Church of Christ unless he has arrived unto the years of accountability before God and is capable of repentance. Gee, my grandparents for church didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Get that four-year-old up there and make him repent. You know he crapped in his diaper, at least. <laughs> Sorry. 72. Baptism is to be administered in the following manner unto all those who repent. 73. The person who is called of God and has authority from Jesus Christ to 
Ab dies, she'll go down into the water with the person who has presented himself or herself. That's big again. For baptism. And shall say, calling him by, or her by name, having been commissioned of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 74. Then shall he immerse him or her and the water, and come forth again out of the water. The most important part. <laughs> 75. It is expedient that, that the church meet together off to partake of bread and wine in the remembrance of the Lord Jesus. 76. And the elder or priest shall administer it, and after this manner shall he administer it. He shall kneel with the church and call upon the Lord in solemn prayer, saying, 77, O God, the Eternal Father, we ask thee in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this bread to our souls of all those who partake of it, that they may eat it in remembrance of the body of thy Son and witness unto thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that there are that they are willing to take upon them the name of thy son and always remember him and keep his commandments which he has given them that they may always have his spirit to be with them amen 78 the manner of administering the wine he shall take a cup also and say, 79, O oh God, the Eternal Father, we ask thee in the name of thy Son Jesus Christ to bless and sanctify this wine to the souls of all those who drink of it, that they may do so in the remembrance of the blood of thy Son, which was shed for them that they may witness unto thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they do always remember him, that they may have his spirit to be with them. Amen. 80. It shall be the duty of the several churches composing the Church of Christ to send one or more of their teachers to attend the several conferences held by the elders of the church. 82. With a list of the names of the several members uniting themselves with the church since the last conference, or sent by the hand of some priest, so that a regular list of all the names of the whole church may be kept in a book by one of the elders, whomsoever the other elders shall appoint from time to time. 83. And also, if any have been expelled from the church, so that their names may be blotted out of the general church record of the names. Like my sister. <laughs> 84. She still believes in Jeepus, though. I mean, uh, Jesus. All members removing, re 
all the members were moving from the church where they reside, if going to a church where they are not known, may take a letter certifying that they are regular members and in good standing. Which certificate may be signed by an elder or priest if the member receiving the letter is it is personally acquainted with the elder or priest or any but or it may be signed by the teachers or deacons of the church. And I made it through section twenty and that was just chock full of good stuff. And I hope you learned something, because I was really hoping you would, and you would tell me what it was. Chime in, open channel, respond in whatever way you want, except spam. God damn it. Until next time. Until s section 21. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I had a great one right now. Bye.